Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I want to join the current discussions that's taken over the luxury community uh, on YouTube and that is um, the lawsuit uh, or class action against uh, Hermes in the way that they are um, selling um, their Birkins and Kellys. Um, if this is something of interest to you, please uh, stay a while and um, listen to what I have to say. Uh, first, I would like to um, just acknowledge um, Luxury and Life in the Middle, uh, her channel and her video on deciphering the very complicated uh, uh, legal sort of document. The lady uh, has a uh, law background um, so if I was to uh, listen to anyone um, educating me about the meaning of all this, I will definitely uh, refer to her uh, interpretation even though she is not, uh, my understanding is she is not um, sort of a, a subspecialist in um, this uh, particular type of uh, lawsuits. Um, but so yeah, take a look at her channel um, to get a better understanding of what this is all about. Um, but what I want to focus on in this video is uh, give you my perspective and uh, my two cents worth, um, a bit of entertainment really um, I do not have any uh, law background but I work in a profession that receives a lot of formal complaints by a central regulatory body uh, and definitely uh, a profession that is often targeted uh, by law cases and lawsuits um, so yeah look um, just want to sort of give my analysis of the situation um, from from this perspective and again this is all my personal opinion or alleged um, just my own views uh, for entertainment purposes um, so do not um, come after me uh, about what I have to say look uh, my personal take on this is uh, number one there is definitely a very heightened emotion uh, around the you know the ability to purchase Hermes um, you know the, the, the holy grail bags of you know Birkins and Kelly's um, and this heightened uh, emotion is really being escalated by the lack of clear and consistent communication from the brand themselves. And this is what I, um, you know, in my profession, you know, majority of complaints, formal complaints actually come from a uh, misunderstanding or lack of communication that um, is provided by our profession. Um, so I think this is, you know, definitely what's driving a lot of anger and resentment towards the brand lately um, and yeah it really just I guess you know emphasize how much we really love our handbags you know for it to be um, important enough to actually go through a class action to to sue the brand um, and secondly I think you know just bringing in my Chinese background and my love of you know reading or, or watching you know documentaries about um, wartime strategies back uh, back in the days um, because I do find that there is there are a lot of relevant lessons this is not a battle this is not a war but I just find it um, is interesting to use a similar concept to analyze the situation and again this is completely from a purely entertainment purposes um, and yeah so whenever there is a big event that is a bit strange a bit odd or you know a bit unexpected um, I think the way to analyze this is you know who's who's to gain and who's to lose if you know the if the case was successful so, and who's to gain well obviously um, you know the the plaintiffs um, the side that is suing Hermes that they are to gain um, in terms of compensations and um, you know in getting what they want which is um, you know stopping Hermes from you know I guess doing this game um, of how to uh, get the holy grail bags um, but also there is a hidden um, uh, winner here if if this um, you know if this this lawsuit goes in the favor of the plaintiff um, side and and in this the competitors the major brand competitors you know of the luxury um, 
business. Um, so, you know, Chanel and LVMH and, and the like. Again, this is all speculative. This is all just for entertainment, my own two cents worth, um, not founded on any truths or facts. Um, but yeah, and, and this makes me very suspicious, particularly with the uh, uh, the second argument that's uh, provided. You know, so not not the not the argument a about tying, um, you know, the uh, Birkins and Kellys to other uh, goods within within Hermes. Again, if you're not clear what I'm talking about, I'll refer you back to the video um, that Luxury and Life in the Middle uh, channel. Um, has recently posted on the matter to, to get a better understanding uh, of uh, the nitty gritty details of the lawsuit. Um, but you know, the, the, the other argument about how, um, you know, because of uh, Hermes's practice, one felt like they couldn't, you know, obtain the other goods, you know, anywhere else, but uh, Hermes because they are tying you know these other goods to the you know ability to buy the Birkins and Kellys um, so really you know in a way um, as uh, Luxury and Life in the Middle has pointed out it's, it's almost feels very weak and a bit like just throw throwing you know might as well throw for this argument into the lawsuit as well um, but you know, if you, I guess, if one was to take the perspective of the other major competitors in the market, uh, yeah, look, you know, they would feel like that. You know that, you know, we can make better, you know, scarves and you know, twillies and and SLGs, but uh, you know, in belts and things like that, and ready to wear. But because Hermes is tying the purchase of these goods with the ability to buy the Birkins and Kellys, is an unfair you know, competition environment and things like that. So yeah, very interesting um, that you know, there's definitely a hidden winner here if this all goes in favour of the plaintiff. Um, and then the next question is, who's to lose? Well, very clearly, Hermes is is the biggest loser here if you know this was to you know go go down that path um, but uh, the hidden losers are we the consumers ultimately going to be the hidden losers the holy grail status of the Birkin and Kelly may not necessarily be such holy grail so all those consumers who have managed to to purchase the you know rather than gifted but managed to purchase the Hermes and the Kelly you know they they're no longer going to hold their value as much um, and ultimately, if uh, Hermes was forced to make the bags much more accessible, are we going to see a de ultimate a decline uh, of quality and craftsmanship, uh, much like what Chanel ha has experienced in terms of increasing supplies and, and production lines and you know pumping out bags at a much quicker rate? So ultimately, you know, is the luxury communities lovers going to lose out in the end in terms of not being able to? Uh, access uh, very well-made bags again um, so very interesting um, and then I guess the last point I want to make on the matter if Hermes was to like from this experience you know are they going to make it very clear now on how to purchase the Birkins and Kellys and how would they do that you know would they introduce a VIP kind of reward system type of thing where you know the more you spend the higher the tier level uh, you become and you get access to you know different products uh, depending on which tier level you're on um, certainly I don't think this um, you know market strategy is new with uh, other companies and online shops or Although online companies like Farfetch and you know things like that, you do have this reward uh, tier system where you know personally I'm on you know the highest tier, um, and that actually gives you access to a lot more brands that you wouldn't otherwise see on the website. Um, that obviously is a little bit different because those products are not made by Farfetch as the company and the brand; they are by other brands. Um, but yeah, I wonder whether a similar type of concept is potentially workable um, for Hermes as a brand and uh, whether that's uh, still sort of against certain you know consumer and market laws I have no idea because um, as I said I have nothing to do with uh, 
um, laws and no absolutely no skills and knowledge in law um, apart from you know being educated how to prevent such in my profession um, so that's it from me today a bit of a different um, uh, style video but I thought um, I will just you know join the discussion um, and give my opinion on the matter um, if you've liked the video please consider uh, subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up and don't forget to check out uh, luxury and life in the middle on her um, explanation and take on um, this uh, very interesting lawsuit um, and until I see you all next time, take care. Bye.